basically is what exactly was uh, this time identified. Uh, as you know, this this here, this is this is watch, and I am zooming straight into the area that was identified. So basically, I'm going to Grotniki location right now. What you see here most likely was my first stay right here. As a matter of fact, what I'm going to do, because he doesn't show names anyhow. But this most likely was my first stay right here. Either was here. I think it was here. First Eastern Europeans came. Slovenians were here. Czech were here and so on. Uh, just you Scandinavians, maybe some Americans, something like this. Few, 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 few. But large Eastern European team, Russians and so on. Okay. This most likely here or here. Uh, but then we would come back about maybe two months later, something like this toward the end of the summer. And this is what the story goes. This is the area I have this time identified. All right, let me just zoom so you get an idea what exactly was done here. Okay, this here is basically what was done. This. Six people identified, owners. And I can pretty much give you the history of all this place here. Vacation village. I'm going to point out a few details from 2002. 2002, not five, six. I fought for 2005 and 2006 and this and that. No, no, no. We're going to go straight to 2002. That's what I'm not supposed to be in Europe anywhere, even near. Uh, up to 2006, mid-2006. Uh, basically from 1995 all the way to mid-2006. I'm not supposed to be in Europe, but I was. My name is Bustian Aus. That's Bastian Auser, if you like. I'm from Slovenia, same age as Melania Trump. From the same city. In fact, she came to pick me up to the U.S. with the idea to get married. Melania's father is a KGB officer. Uh, well, Udba. They go by Udba. They used to go by Udba in what used to be Yugoslavia before. All right. In this video, here is what I'm gonna do. Uh, the people that were involved in MK Ultra are gonna get a shocker now. Now let's see just how much I remember. I will point out what I will suggest actually was the first house in Grotniki I was in. It was not the first house. This is not the first house, but this was the first house for Elon Musk in Grotniki, in Watch, with whom I have stayed uh, one evening. I hope it was from Warsaw, but it could have been also from some other location. I'm not sure. I just know that Elon Musk was all pissed off. I know that everybody was pissed off. I don't know from which airport we were we headed from to get this little vacation village. And you know what? This must have not been Warsaw because it took few hours to get here so this probably was not Warsaw this must have been another airport and I didn't look on the map so I apologize for that matter uh, but they were unhappy uh, when we got here it was the evening time and it was the house I will demonstrate you this was in fact the first house in this vacation village I'm gonna say uh, and I should say the first house for the Elon Musk, not for me, because I was here earlier one time and it was in what is known, I think, as a Boruta Oshorek um, next door. It's next door. And all this is next to the Lake Linda. Um, that was like a summertime when we came. It was flies. I already have demonstrated that location. 
Yeah, it's fast. Uh, I don't know, back then, I don't know, what was it? Even maybe a school or something? I have no clue. They told me back then it's a school, but it, as well as mine, it could be a place for the people to rest, vacation place, like a little fenced property, vacation property. All right. Um, that was the first place, the place that I have suggested. This was the number one place. Okay. Now, at the time, Elon Musk was like you want to say, like a case manager to me, um, in charge for this MK Ultra, and I cannot forget his instructions. Uh, he was very much motivated to help, up to, I'm going to say like, sometimes in 2004, he just gave the case to someone else, they gave the case to someone else, he told me, uh, they are asking for too much time from me and I don't have a time to spend more time with you and I have to hand this case to someone else and then other people handed this thing but he still have quite a good overview about what's going on with me um, and sometimes in 2006 he became really really annoyed that it did cause so many problems that, as well as mine, I should be just, it would be the best probably for me and for others that I would be just dead. This is just the way it was. In this video here, I'm going to demonstrate exactly knowledge of the village by going straight to the police station. And we'll ask a police assistance in respect to the three locations. Uh, basically, entrance to the properties with them. And they will go ahead with me and we'll confirm the information I will supply. Um, if they would not want to go along with that stuff, I'm going to have to. Uh, ask some international police department, uh, international police, whatever um, organization to assist me with this because this is 2002. We are talking about not talking about 2003, 2004, 5, 6 here, which is far, far back, but we're talking about 2002 here. This is all about 2002. All right, this time. I have recognized six people, basically everybody I met, I have recognized in this vacation village. Uh, from the information that I give, it becomes completely evident that I have seen people, even that people deny seeing me before, but I know the information about them. So, you know, what's the point of Hiding something when you remember so much information, um, even incidents that you have created. I have created problems here to these people um, that just, it doesn't make a difference if people say that they don't know me and they probably say this because of my political involvement in writing when you know in fact i know their stories i recognize them therefore you know at one point eventually they're gonna have to just come clean and say yes right because what else is left i mean let's say let's suppose i figure out let's suppose that there is a certain amount of people and every one of these people tells you they don't know you, but you you identify them. You tell about their stories, life stories, whatever, previous encounters. You know the information, personal information about them related to the area where you were and stuff like this, which you also identify. It really doesn't matter how many people say that they don't know you. If you know that kind of stuff, you, you know, one way or the other, you, you did your case, you did your stuff more than enough this is already more than enough 
Uh, and so, because of the stuff like this, you know, I don't have choice other than to just go about to the police station and, you know, get basically police to recognize this case. We are at this stage now. And like I said, if they don't want to uh, assist in this matter, I'm going to have to go through International Police Association is what it is and request help from them. Uh, police, however, I got to say that, in my opinion, they assisted a lot because I don't think this would be possible just like through community, like through the friendships and stuff like this, that they would just organize the whole thing in a way that it would stay just about exactly the same as it was in 2002 and that you would have people actually giving you confirming you information that you know about them and stuff like that i think that they are deserved for this stuff they are actually deserved for a lot of good stuff but you're still gonna have to come up and give me the video recordings about the ruskis you're still going to have to do that, and they're going to go public. People are going to see it. Everybody's going to see it. What is east of Poland? Because this is just the way it's got to be done. People, people got to see what's going on, and I got to wash my name completely. So there will be no any kind of trace of any kind of doubts about me. I admire myself for doing stuff like this. Frankly, I thank God for something like this because when I did this vacation village, I was reminded yet again in what kind of stuff I got myself alone into it. Because I did cost, uh, I'm not gonna say a fair share of trouble, but I steered things to uh, really, critical heights and to climb out of all this is just very very admirable I would say everything I have to deal with everything I have created everything I have to deal with uh, I should say that was created through to me because that's why you see you understand this is why you're gonna release this tapes about all this stuff Ruskis have use me to steer the hatred in Poland, divide the society, uh, and have driven me insane through the racism, fascism, for their benefit. And that's why you, these tapes are not your tapes, these this tapes practically are my possession. You're going to release all these tapes, you're going to release them. All right, so let's just go to the audio recording, and what I'm going to do is, there was some, some, some kind of haggling about this kind of stuff. There will be no haggling. Uh, the tapes are my possession. Your tapes you have at the police station about the Russian torture and stuff are my possession. You can consider that as my private possession. You're going to put them, you're going to give them to me, and they're going to be released for the people worldwide to see what this is. You can consider that. If you're not going to comply with that kind of stuff, I'm going to use everything possible in this world to really, you don't want to go in there. Um, six people identified. Eventually, in the last act, you're going to hear me. I got scared because I saw a gentleman who came with a car and I immediately recognized him, his face. And I had it back, and you're gonna hear me. I say this is this was a police officer. I had back straight to the village to meet this gentleman who came from Lodge. I remember everything. He's from Lodge, and he did just as he promised he would do if I would do something like this, and I really did. Prior to him, I have identified four other people, even the stuff I have created in this village. And I really created this one. This is this was just this was just completely inappropriate on my behalf. I will explain a little bit in continuation. Uh, 
As I go to his house, an older gentleman steps out that somehow reminded of him, but my God, I got scared. I got really, really scared. Uh, I got scared because it kind of looked like him, but it was not him. And I asked for his son, but gentleman just stands there and so on. And, and I, I got into a situation that I started to get afraid that he got so old, which was impossible. Um, uh, that's when his son eventually steps out. And we start a conversation and I ask him, he by profession is a police officer. And I'm asking this question because just before I step in, in front of the door, I stand in front of the house and <clears throat> I'm thinking about and 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 thinking about. I go to 2002 under MK Ultra, where I was subjected to MK Ultra. Now I have to find out who the gentleman is. Before I went inside of this village, I did not even know what this village is, anything. But when I stepped through the through the entrance, because I didn't pay attention to it, and I started to go, I immediately, it, memory immediately clicked, everything. And so I didn't have a fear to, well, when I already was out of the gate, leaving, and I saw his car coming, him, briefly I saw his face. And I said, I know this gentleman, the gentleman is a police officer. I didn't hesitate to go back and identify him too. I was already maybe like, I don't know, 20, 30 meters away from outside of the property. I already walked back to the center. Okay, so before I go to his entrance door, I remind myself who the gentleman is. And I remind myself of the problem I have created. Well, I have created a lot of problems. I just... I'm not sure which one I created this time. I know in this village I have created problems. <clears throat> I should say politicians did because politicians were the ones that subjected me to the torture. This was a torture used for the sake of business people, for the sake of entertainment, I should say, and more than that, business and politics. This is why they did. And for the certain thing, because of the certain reasons, I was a perfect person for that. And because of the politicians who have interpreted me as something the most like like a most serious moho, if you want, in the world, that if you step in front of one, you will be told exactly who and what you are. Um and me being pissed off about the whole thing. You, have, you don't know anything about yet what they have done to me. You just know something a little bit. I, uh, just out of the pure aspect that I was so retarded had no possession over my soul, over my body, over my mind. Subject like this, like for embarrassment, sure that I found my refuge in insulting people. If I only could find a soft spot in somebody and you got it right there. Unless it was a really good looking woman, you know, unless it was a beautiful lady or something like this. At first not, but if it doesn't work then probably about the same thing follow too so it did it was all kinds of stuff that went on and so I'm standing right there in front of the house and thinking about it and then it comes to me that he was eventually the gentleman that harbored us in his little house one night Something like this, because they were going to throw us 
out of Grotniki, not only out of this village. We didn't have a place to go. Things got hot. The villagers revolted. And he was the one who actually calmed the situation down, not only at this location, but also in other location here in Grotniki. And so this gentleman didn't have only, I would say, he was not only deserved, I'm going to say, for not throwing us out of Grotniki, but he also got community going so they would help me out. Because frankly, yesterday the people I met, I admire them that they even want to see me. Seriously, because we're going to get to that stuff. Uh, very unpleasant stuff I created. I was just not choosy about anything. On the real time, I would not even think about doing something like this. But on MK Ultra, as I hated one with a passion, you know, just feeling that you are intellectual like this, inferior, physically without possession of your body, I felt that, you know, it's my duty, my job to just, every time when they took me, you know, just insult whatever comes along, whatever comes my way. And I did, I did. A gentleman, not a police officer, I was asking him, but I tell the scenario about, and I also suggest that he had the position that gave him the authority, gave him the ability to actually negotiate with the people about the, such a serious situation. And he keeps the fingers like this down, the thumbs up like this. He is amazed what I pulled out of my head, the information. All right, who was the gentleman? The gentleman had some kind of a position here in Grotniki, some kind of um, counseling, public counseling, some kind of like a mayor, I'm not going to say a mayor, something related to the public relations position. I cannot tell exactly which position that was, but that was in 2002. And the other gentleman, whom I got afraid, was his father. I got afraid again because it scared me that it kind of looked like him, but he was old, older gentleman. Um, what have I done in this village, you ask? Well, I just go to this stuff first. And we're going to clarify other. Well, first, when I entered this property, there was a gentleman, and I remember very, very firmly his property, him, right there, was the first gentleman in this village that insisted on helping me out and had an argument with his wife eventually because. Nobody wanted to help me out, but he was just eager to help me out. That he's going to help me out. Eventually, he spoke English better than others, too. And was just convinced that he's going to help me out no matter what. Till I created a problem to his neighbor. His neighbor, um, a gentleman just about his age, who has deformed body. Um, he has a certain irregularities with his back. And sure enough that I have found my um, solution in sorrow by insulting him. And I did so. It was probably about the worst thing I did under MK Ultra, I did not do anything as bad as this. As bad as this, I have not done to anybody. And I did so 
I did all him bad things. Eventually, the gentleman, because of me, aligned with Russians. Uh, he saw in me pure evil. Resented me. Ended up in depression. Eventually, I was told that he was taking some kind of counseling that they tried to help him out, that he was he was a complete distress. I didn't do it. The politicians did this shit. Should never judge person according to MK Ultra ever when it comes to the standards like this. This is something you should never do. Eventually, his neighbor that liked me resented me badly. I was absolutely no longer welcome to this place. Um, the help, promised help, was gone. Uh, yesterday, he would not know me when I asked him if for any information, if he knows me, if he remembers me, if he remembers any Americans and so on. And the gentleman, thanks God, with his deformed body that I met, eventually did showed his stronger side to me, which helped me remember myself what exactly went on. So I, at first, I was angry at both. I was angry at, um, at the gentleman when I came inside that, that he see me and he does not want to recognize me. I was like, okay, okay, I mean, if you're like this, you know, and you talked about that you're going to help me and stuff like this and all this. I've seen that then, but before I left the property, I understood that the two did just the right thing, because if they wouldn't do it like this, I would not remind myself exactly what went on in this place, and this is more important than anything here. I completely recognize this. It was the right thing. And again, this is probably job of the psychologists, police, a way to remind me basically of what went on. It was very well done. I got to say, very, very well done. I thank very much for that. And then you have, then you have a gentleman from Lodge, a younger man, Again, the same thing, I don't know you, and this and that. And the Renke Ultra, he promised, I will know you, I will help you. Now, I don't know you, this and that. Okay, you don't know me. I walk away, then I come back, and I say, look, I said, I know you. You don't know me, but I know you. You are from Lodge, for one thing, and the house you have right there was given to you by the parents. And I gave him the year when the house was given to him, basically. I remember his parents. I remember his father. I remember his mom. I can describe. And he agreed. Another gentleman had a house right there. Next to the old house that appealed to me. That's like an old house. Alan Musk was interested in that house. Polish old vacation house. Probably not even a vacation house was. Maybe the second oldest house. I wanted to go in and see inside in there too just like Elon Musk did. It's a beautiful house, and I would just wanted to see what it looks like on the inside. But the gentleman next door, right on the next lot, tells me, the owner is not here. We can't do anything about it. But the house is 
being right now renovated. Not a big deal that you would let me go inside and see it, what it looks like inside, because I'm kind of a dying to see this old house, this old Polish house, what this would look like on the inside. That's the most attractive about are these old houses. This is magnet. They have their charm. They have their own charm. These old houses have wooden made houses. We're talking about wooden made houses. Beautiful wooden made houses have their charm. My grandma had something just like similar, not like this, but something wooden was also, and it really feels good. It's kind of a different, it's very, very different everything. But anyways, I don't know you, I don't remember any Americans, tra la 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 la, okay, okay, okay. I walk away, as I walk away, I remind myself of the Poznan. I was not here, was not Lodge, which is about, I don't know, 20, 25 kilometers from here. This was not the same situation as with the other gentleman I have identified. And then I remember something about Poznan. Must have been a Poznan. It comes to me even Wroclaw, something like this, far away from here. Far away from here. And I come to him and I tell him, I ask him, is it that you are maybe from Poznan or, or Wroclaw, maybe even Wroclaw? Because I said, you're not from Zgiers, you're not from Lodz, you're not from anywhere nearby here. Uh, it's his mom and his sister, I think, that lived in this place. And he would come occasionally. And I remember him, of course, too. When he would come occasionally, we were there. And we would met, and he was one of the people who wanted to help me big time. And, yeah, it just happened so that before you get to his place, you go through Poznan, which is about, I think, 200 kilometers. And then there is another 100 kilometer somewhere near border, small city. And so there you have another one yet identified. He agreed with it. Poznan would be just very good if you would get that far and there you have you have yet another gentleman identified right there and there you have that's a father son a two neighbors young gentleman who inherited the house from the parents fifth and the sixth one gentleman from a little further than Poznan. Poland is quite big, I gotta say. When I say little, Poland is not like Slovenia. 100 kilometers in Poland is not so much. It's a big country. It's much, but this is way bigger than Slovenia. And so there you have, as far as the village, I can go from house to house and tell what was built when, which is which are the oldest houses. And I have also identified, it's not a fence, but under MK Ultra it felt it was a fence because I couldn't see clearly. And once I have created the impression about fence, you see this is about the MK Ultra, then you start to think about the fence. That it was a new fence. And what I do is I point out exactly a gentleman whom I have insulted tells me angrily, no, it was not. Nothing is new. Everything is the same as it was in 2000 and 2003. Okay, very good. It basically gives me the confirmation that when he said it was the same in 2002, 2003, that what you are about to see was placed right there in 2002, make no mistake.
and it's still there, the same thing, meaning that these angels, not even people, have left this stuff for me all these years. Since 2002 to 2019, this thing waited for me. I'm sure they would remove this thing away, but it just had there waiting for me to come and identify one. So I want to thank them all and to the police department for this matter, but the police owes me this stuff and this is not negotiable. The stuff that I have spoken about, the Russian torture inside of the store, I don't care what that's going to do with the public outrage. It's going to steer the hatred, whatever it's going to do. Um, you owe me this. This is my possession. This is my property. You're going to give this into my hands. This is not yours. This is mine. For one thing, world is going to see this thing. The second thing is, it's because Russian people have to see what they have inside of the Kremlin. They got to see the beasts that are inside of the Kremlin. I am not done with it yet. In respect to Nastya Ripka, I have identified an individual who handled her in Moscow, the KGB individual, was a rapist, was also here in Poland, was part of the team with Valerio and with the Yuri. He was here and he was used, in fact, to handle her because he was like a famous rapist. He would go around and rape women. He was a violent thug. And he was the one who was used at the airport when they returned her from Thailand. He was the one used to basically traumatize her so she would not say anything. She, she would be basically quiet like a mouse. She would basically have to sign the deal, death silence deal with Moscow before she was returned to the Belarus. I'm not done with it. This is just the beginning. Now let's go to the business. Nevertheless, Elon Musk did a good job in 2002, uh, 2003, I should say up to 2002, 2003. He really did an outstanding job, as I explained. Um, he was very much concerned for me. He supervised the staff, MK Ultra staff, and ordered certain procedures to be implemented and other and others not to be implemented for my sake, so I would not confuse things and so on. Um, something you should go over through original audio recording, which also I'm gonna post. So, Alan, there's nothing else left but to take a plane to Grotniki, basically. Now they have an airport in Lodge. Yeah, that was not Warsaw when we came that evening. We didn't come from Warsaw. We came from some other airport far away. It was about a few hours drive, maybe even eight hours drive before we got to this place. So this was your first place in Grotniki, the one I'm about to demonstrate, Mr. Elon Musk. Not mine, but yours. Mine was still. I got to look around, see around, but it was either in a Shrodek next to it. I mean, in a Shrodek, definitely not. In a Boruta Otpochitek Center, uh, another two locations are there. vacation villages another little two vacation villages one vacation villages beside this one but then there is like a place for vacations that is next to it and i think that was the one boruta ot pochita koshrodek something like that that probably is what was mine but i still have to see it in details because it might have been it's very possible that was another vacation village but yours was the first one, but I was here in Grotniki earlier, that same summer, in 2002. 
I am not sure if this was the, the first house in the Grotniki. I am not sure if this was the first house in the Grotniki. It was not the other one. It's a parallel street with this one. But this was definitely the first one in this rayon here. This one right here. This one right here. 2002. This one. Sure that I remember, sure, sure. This is a street that goes right parallel to to the other one. Huh? What you see here, this thing here gave impression to me under MK Ultra about a fence, completely new fence they have placed in most likely what was 2003. But it's very, very possible this thing was even done in 2002. Unfortunately, unfortunately, I'm very sorry for that, but I cannot turn around the time. I have insulted the gentleman that I have spoken to because he is suffering from some problems. Um, I do not know how to say that in proper English, but his body is uh, not exactly in a shape that is like a regular shape, is deformed basically. And I did insult it. On the MKL try insulted absolutely everything. Uh, he resented me, of course, how wouldn't he? Even like this, that's why I'm angry at these Americans that they did stuff like this. Frankly, they cause more harm to other people than to me. And his friend right there is a gentleman I have spoken the first. Uh, he speaks English, but because of this neighbor, he resented me the way I behaved. And now you understand, now you have the whole background about how this thing happened. The gentleman actually suffered depression because of me. He had a problems because of my behavior under MKUltra, it's true. Yeah, this, this here, uh, Alan Musk alone told me, he said, make sure to take it from the inside, not from the outside, because from the inside is what is seen the most. This here, this is maybe the biggest proof of all the proofs I have so far. This was placed, this is from either 2002 or 2003. Exactly what you see right here. And a gentleman alone actually confirmed. He wouldn't confirm this was placed in 2002, 2003. But this is just a bottom line fact. That's basically what that is. And that was very, very well done. Two people recognized, including him and including first individual gentleman I have spoken to, a friend of his. And, well, how could I possibly do better than this? I don't know. Okay, so what else do you want? Uh, we recognized all this. That was a gentleman I have spoken to earlier. This one, however, this is a neighbor. Uh, the same car already for I don't know how long. How long did they made this Fiat cars? I do not know. But this car must be there. I have no idea how long, maybe 10 years. This was not... This was not used. This yellow beautiful car right there that you see. I have no idea how long did they make them. But, you know, it's no way I possibly could go wrong about anything. And I don't know how to thank these people anyways. Anyways, this is beautiful day. To this place here, you could actually go right through the forest. Exactly where you see right there, there was no fence right here in this area here. Uh, people, natives here, they would go in and out. Uh, in 2002, you could still do so. 
in 2003, fence appeared. And as I see some little trees they planted and stuff like that. But the people, the long time people in Grotniki still know this place here, just like, let's say I do. Still remember that. Uh, right here, did you see this thing here? This this was a home. House was here in a super bad shape. They took one down in 2002. Probably they did in 2002 or maybe even 2003. right behind this house that you are about to see next and at the front the house you're about to see was in very bad shape they were actually thinking to take one down in 2002 eventually the owner decided he's gonna go ahead and rebuild one but behind this house there was yet another old house and that one was demolished completely so this one was rebuilt on the left side you have a house you have seen was taken down also in 2002-2003 this one was rebuilt and behind this house there was another house gone disappeared, deleted this is what I remember the most, you see this this garden, I could not forget this. The garden here. The way I see these things is that they have preserved my memories by doing, keeping basically exactly as it was in 2002, 2003, 4, 5, and so on, in an unbelievable way. This one probably down in 2002. See that? They abandoned this project here from the beginning. They had me quite a few times. But they began to get afraid that I will confuse this one with the other one over there. And so they abandoned this project.
This is where the politicians stayed in this house. I remember that very well because this was like kind of a luxurious this area. Oh, that was a lot of American people here. I remember this. People were so happy to have them too. Everything was so alive here. And this is where it ends. And the fence always was like this beautiful fence. Um, I'm not sure if it was in 2002 like this, but they fixed one pretty soon. Maybe in 2004, maybe. I remember this and painted in exactly the same way like it's painted right now, like dark that you see it right there. Right there, on the other hand, that's on the other side of the street. I have recognized a gentleman. I remember his parents, his father, his mother. And I remember the gentleman too, who also helped as much as he possibly could. Uh, but they will not give you a green light. They don't give the green light. They just don't want to tell yes. A little earlier I have spoken to an individual who sweared he's going to give me an account when I come here. He didn't. He does speak English too though. But at least he was outside to refresh me a memory which is really nice too. A little bit of everything, a little bit of... There were two houses here. This one... This one was... One house should be also behind that was turned down, if I remember properly, this thing here. Uh, this one, uh, I'm not really sure. This one, actually, when I think about it, this one was in a very bad shape and was rebuilt. I remember this now. This one was rebuilt. The other one, however, was taken down, that one right there. In 2002, probably was taken down. This here renovated, changed, I think, big time, but the garden, the garden still looks the same. And this thing was done, I'm not sure, I'm not sure, I shouldn't say when exactly it was renovated. Could be 2008. I'm not completely sure about. I need a little more time. Eventually, what happens is today this gate was open. I think that somebody is rather watching over me because they allow me to go inside and a little bit refresh myself. Because that's the best way to do it.
this funny is, I think this was, well, this is definitely the street I remember the most. It's right there that you see on the on the right side we would come and go right in here, right there. A very special people. Forget about the place, it's about the people. <laughs> 